And for our next bout this evening, please welcome to the cage in the blue corner from Croatia. Joseph Matkovi. So far, we've had an explosive performance from all performers, including the last first round win in our opening match on the main card. But now the big boys come out to play, and I mean big boys. Heavyweight division here. Josip Matkovic, one and one, comes in from the Croatian regionals. He's most likely going to use his kickboxing here. If he lands with his heavy shots, well, it's lights out all over. And actually, a wrestling veteran was the former Yugoslav champion when Milenko was in primary school. A longtime training partner of MMA legend Mirko Krokop Filopovic. He also trained in anti Delia's camp on his road to the PFL Championship. Wants to try something new? This is his second pro fight. He's a true heavyweight, went from 138 keys to current weight in preparation. You're a fan, Chris. Yeah, how can you not be when you've been in those camps? And there's so many of these unsung heroes in MMA who put so many rounds and have been through so many camps and only have a couple of fights on their record. He's a very, very strong wrestler in the purest of senses that could cause problems even despite the age deficit. But, you know, helping Ante Dalia get to a million dollars in the PFL, everything that Mirko Krokop had with that legendary takedown defense, there's somebody behind it. Right, yeah, interesting that you draw that. I mean, it's because of this guy that they're there. Let's see what he does tonight. I've got a sneaky feeling he's not come to put in any overtime. You know, he's no spring chicken. This is not his first rodeo at 44 years of age. He's got the experience. Uh, yeah, big up, Matkovic. Joseph Matkovic! And now, please welcome to the cage in the red corner from Montenegro. Milenko Kicho Stamatovic. Stamatovic, immediately the number there, 29 years of age. Playing 44. MMA is 3-0, FNC 1-0. A Montenegrin prospect, he's a big lad, solid wrestling, big ground and pound, heavy hitter on the feet. Had some major health problems with a thorax injury, and after that he tore his Achilles tendon. Over two years of fighting with injuries, and he's going into fights half injured and half prepared, but he now says he's ready. Came to American top team Zagreb because there's no heavyweight sparring partners in his parent club, Bushido Podgorica, in Montenegro. In previous outings, he focused on takedowns and ground and pound, but sources reveals he plans to avoid wrestling because of his opponent's superior experience. So, is this KO territory? Is it KO heaven? Well, they're big boys and they can finish. He's gonna have to think hard about this fight because for sure he found success on the ground previously, but this is stylistically a very, very different test. And I think he must also not be overconfident. The last guy he beat had more than 50 fights. Okay, only two in MMA for this guy. It has to be respect. So wrestling, no wrestling, boxing, we'll have to wait and see. They're big, big lads, but uh, with all the experience that uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, this MMA these two bring, it's going to be interesting. In the land of the Giants, the heavyweight division. This bout will be contested over three five-minute rounds. The referee in charge when the action gets underway, Nena Chantage. Introducing to you firstly in the blue corner, age 44. He stands at 193 centimeters tall. He brings a record of two fights with one win and one loss. He's representing the Grindhouse Combat Club from Croatia. Please welcome Josip Matkovic. And 
opposing him on the other side of the cage. He's fighting out of the red corner. Age 29. He stands at 195 centimeters tall. His record so far, a perfect one. Three fights, three wins. He's representing Bushido Podgorica from Amer an American top team, Zagreb from Montenegro. It's Milenko Kicho Stavatovi. And fight us to the center, please, for your final instructions. Fighters, you know the rules, follow my commands all the time. Touch the gloves. Touch the gloves. Go to the corner. So there's the numbers. Stand out, 29, plays 44. Uh, 120 keys, plays 116. So will that extra weight play a part here or the extra speed for Stamatovic play, play a part. Three five-minute rounds. Uh, FNC MMA rules and already we see a knockdown Stamatovic is all over this goes to the ground and uh, Matkovic knocked down there so uh, did he want to do that was this an open invitation we know the wrestling skills lie with Matkovic yeah he was reaching for the clinch well that was the mistake he came out he looked a little bit too comfortable there and a nice read there from Stamatovic to throw the overhand right He sent Matkovic to the mat, working on top here. And uh, as I say, word around the campfire was Stamatovic was going to avoid having to deal with being on the ground, but being on top is not so bad as being on the bottom, especially if Matkovic is on top of you, that experience there. But he's working well here, taking a little bit of wear and tear on the left eye, Stamatovic. It hasn't come without a price. So working from the top, trying to control Matkovic at 44 years of age you have to ask yourself how many times can you go to the well and we're seeing the more youthful uh, more dare I say athletic Stamatovic start to uh, gain an advantage here the referee was taking a careful look there you can see the stalemate that's occurring it's the overhook it was really 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 tight overhook control with the left that's now been released it was nice from Stamatovic to go to work with those short elbows you can posture and then sort of slide them in Matkovic in all kinds of trouble here there's a very big cut on the lip uh, that's going to cause problems for him life being made very difficult by Stamatovic putting that forearm in lots of cross face going on getting the odd clubbing punch in there causing problems for Matkovic I think the writing's on the wall here Stamatovic has uh, literally smelt blood realizes he can cause a lot of damage disrupting the breathing there getting that hand across the throat across the face and life is very difficult for Matkovic in that position Stamatovic has taken his time, which I like too. There's no doubt that Makovic is good on the ground, but when you put a guy who's cut from nearly 140 kilos on his back quickly, there's only one place he's going, and that's fatigue. Yes. Uh, uh, that's on a bus number 21, destination fatigue, and he's in all kinds of trouble there, Makovic. Um, and I love what... Stamatovic is doing to disrupt just giving a bit of space and then landing with that forearm either on the chin across the throat using his hand to disrupt the breathing of Stamatovic he's really making this a rough ride here and then um, if this bus is destined to go to fatigue well then it's a bumpy old ride that it's taking to get there the ref is keeping a very very careful eye as well on the condition of Matkovic he's a heavy heavy forearm smashes going in there from Stamatovic. Stamatovic red in the green shorts and uh, Matkovic on his back trying to defend here. He's just having life being made so easy. Just look at the smothering going on there. Now the eye, the lip. I mean, this is a real gritty encounter. He's pretty much just accepted this position as well. He's using the lockdown Oh, maybe a deep half sweep here. I mean, this is what I would have liked to see earlier because once you start eating those elbows, it just has an exponential effect on the fight, as we can see. Yeah, I mean, this is a rough ride in there for Matkovic. He's still hanging in, but uh, I have to say, this is not a beauty pageant we're watching here. Um, he's really turned up tonight, Stamato uh, Stamatovic. 
uh, he had a lot of injuries. Back injury put him out for a while. Then that hamstring took him out. Uh, a lot of the time he took on fights when he wasn't prepared, he wasn't ready. And, you know, there was, you know, talk of maybe some you know financial pressures there that made him do that but tonight he's very much in the driving seat and that's a lot of trouble on the left eye of Matkovic uh, this is uh, we're in sort of stoppage territory I think and then it's just a shame that he fell foul to that big overhand right earlier on we could have seen a different result for Matkovic but he's there he's in trouble and uh, Stamatovic knows exactly where to deliver all of the pain and he's doing that in a almost clinical way it's a nice use of the half guard too well it's nice to see that patience and when you've not fought for a couple of years not since 2022 right you mentioned the cancellations he's doing all the right things here to just make sure he's dominant 10-8 round all day absolutely i don't think this can continue just look at the left eye of josip matkovic he'll make it to the corner but I don't know if he'll make it out again. That was a powerful, powerful round by Stamatovic. And uh, Matkovic, they're going to have to get the doctor in to look at that eye, I would venture. Yeah, there was talk of the bus ticket, Will. That might have been a one-way trip. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Uh, yeah, let's just wait and see how this pans out. There was the big hand that uh, landed there. Then the ground and pound straight away. And uh, Stamatovic quick to get on and cause problems and all of that cross face the forearm smashes the disruption to the breathing the pounding on that left eye uh, just terrible terrible positioning for Matkovic and it was nice actually it was the left hook that clipped him I thought it was maybe the overhand right first but it's all good because when you shift with your footwork like that you can close the distance heavy 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 potential there with the hands allows you to get a hold of your opponent and this was the result well, he maintained that heavy position, delivered some really punishing shots. I just think that left eye of Matkovic is just not going to pass muster. But then, who am I? My bad. They've cleared him for action. We go to round two. The first time this evening we've seen the second uh, in probably what looked like the fight least likely to. Well, he's passed muster and he wants to continue. Bravery knows no bounds. And uh, are we just in a cul de sac here? Are we heading to what we know is the inevitable? Let's wait and see whether Matkovic can pull a rabbit out of the hat. We go for the first time at FNC 15 to round two. I'm the Sensei Will Vanders, joined by the Guru Chris Hookstra. Oos, what a night it's been and it's thrills and spills all the way. So, fighting red, Milenko Stamatovic. Fighting blue, Josip Matkovic. Croatia plays Montenegro. And uh, Matkovic, 44 years of age. As I said at the beginning of this bout, you can only go to the well so many times. Matkovic, I think, is in all kinds of trouble here. Just one takedown, like we saw in the very first fight on the prelims, could change this fight. Matkovic, nice right hand, very crisp right hand there from Matkovic. He knows that the forward pressure is going to come from Stamatovic. If he can time that, he can counter him with the hands. Yeah, it's a counter game for Matkovic. I don't think he can rush in and force the play here. Stamatovic, well, takes his chances and he knows that uh, any opportunity that's played, he's keeping out of range. Uh, all the while, Matkovic is uh, recovering. And uh, big standoff here. And I think Stamatovic realizes that if Matkovic gets just a glimmer of light, he is going to kick the door wide open. It's so linear, though. It, that's the thing. There could be an easy counter here for either of these guys with the boxing because the entries are so straight. No one's cutting angles. No, and that uh, lead left leg is open for a low kick if uh, Stamatovic starts to rely on his kickboxing skills. But uh, in all kinds of trouble, Josip Matkovic. And the standoff here, well, I think it's out of respect for both fighter's capability and uh, Stamatovic yeah taking his time you know why 
rush in where angels fear to tread just he knows how dangerous Matkovic can be and he's probably very happy with his performance in the first round no he's ahead knows he's ahead and can just afford to take his time here and pick his shots and he can you can see the little tasks going on the little upper body feints everything to just try to show a little bit of confusion towards his intentions and Matkovic of course is going to be a little bit less uh, able shall we say to defend on the outside to his left I mean there's just going to be some differences of course in what both these fighters can see at this point yeah that's the blind spot and already limping on that lead leg giving away all his uh, injuries and weak areas and Stamatovic just looking for a clean shot here I would suspect uh, is Matkovic offering anything I think there's always danger but uh, he's getting hurt by the low kick and I like what Stamatovic is doing there. That's the obvious to me as a stand-up guy to punish that lead left leg. It's slow, it's lumbering and it's exposed. Drops his guard, Matkovic, desperate to land some leather here but can't do it. But Stamatovic still wary. Stamatovic is smart. Everything's pretty accurate here right now. It's not a lot of volume but what he's throwing, the high percentage of it is landing, and that's going to pay dividends, you know? These guys are bigger guys. Fatigue, as we said, could be an issue for both, really, to be honest with you. So you've got to be efficient. Meanwhile, recovery for Matkovic taking place. He's got his win back, and uh, the eye not causing him a problem. Still a threat, throwing big hands. Stamatovic, you're right about the linear element to this it's not a, not a lot of flair you know not exactly watching Ali in action are we here with any of these two but uh, he gets the job done the right hand threads its way in he twists it nicely let's just see how Stamatovic plans to work this out maybe just around now to get rid of some of the ring rust you don't know what his corner said to him he's been out for a while injury he's in great shape now maybe he wants to relish and enjoy the moment not finish this too quickly starting to move laterally now around the ring that will eventually wear down Matkovic in terms of energy here and then um, yeah the confusion reigns much much closer round Matkovic has had two good right hands but I feel like one good right hand plus a bunch of leg kicks for Stamatovic have taken it almost shadow boxing now Stamatovic, I mean, it's a world away from that aggressive, vicious work. The inside dirty boxing that he did on the ground with the ground and pound. Smothering, cross face, and you look at him now, he just looks like a shadow boxer, nice and clean. But when he gets down and dirty, boy, this guy can really cause some problems. We've had the 10 second clapper, and uh, unbelievably, Matkovic survives the round. Not a lot to send home, really. As you said, a couple of good lands from Stamatovic, the low kicks. Nothing meaningful from Matkovic. Certainly not the volume that we saw from Stamatovic. So again, the round goes strongly in favor of the Montenegro. But it was much closer, and that's the thing. You know, we definitely saw the pace slow down just a touch for Stamatovic. And, you know, there's always an internal body clock as a fighter. When you've gone out there, you've taken a guy down, and you've used energy from that top position. You hurt him very badly, quite clearly, and you could get him out. You couldn't finish the fight. So sometimes you just have to be a little bit smart. Yes, there's the roar of the crowd, but you want to make sure you focus on your own strategy. Well, we go to the third round. The second round was a first here tonight. The third round, absolutely unheard of here at FNC 15. And the fact that Josip Matkovic, who after the first round looked like the man least likely to, has done it. So, he's a survivor. He's got there. No uh, exit if he survives this round. Well, that'll be something else. I just got the sneaky feeling Stamatovic will up the ante here. Yeah, and all this extra time is something that's going to play to the favor. Makovic, for sure, will have been a bit rejuvenated, I think, after that last round. He's been cleared. Doctors left the cage. The last five minutes of this heavyweight bout. Round three. And you can 
can see the pressure from Kicho Stamatovic starting to bring. Oh, look at this. Matkovic recovered. He starts to bring the pressure and the heat. Got his man pulled up on the wire here. I was about to say that Stamatovic up in the ante, starting to fire the shots off. But uh, Matkovic has come away from that uh, passive mode, having to defend, having to keep on the outside of Stamatovic and uh, starts to bring some heat to this now. What can he do? This is the play for Matkovic. This is the one that he was digging for in the last round. He couldn't quite get it cleanly. And, you know, you might only just have enough energy for one good one. But that might be what he needs. Deep underhook here on the right. He's trying to pummel in with his left. Bicep pummel and counter here from Stamatovic. Pushes off the fence. Nice. That was key. If ever you're going to use energy against this guy, that's when. Well, the corner have done a fantastic job with that eye. Uh, Matkovic. No, falls foul. And that's it, it's all over, TKO, it's the low kick that does it. And Matkovic, who would have thought after all that pressure, it's a leg strike that causes the demise of Josip Matkovic and brings about a TKO early in this third round. Investments in the bank, he was putting in that work, especially in the second round. Heavy, heavy low kicks, especially against a guy who was going in literally heavy on that front leg that's the counter and it won him the fight yeah the old lumberjack technique and you know when you chop down a tree is it the first chop or the last chop that makes the difference no one knows but the tree goes over that's it it's a tko a finish what a way for metkovic to go out but i have to say he's a survivor and by all accounts and by all reckoning he was lucky to get this far you know i think it, after the first round it was a huge decision to let him continue i agree 100 percent well, what a fight here tonight. An incredible performance of heart from both guys and focus. That was the thing. Stamatovic was so focused. He didn't let anything phase him. And he went out there and he fought and won the rounds. That's what you need sometimes after a layoff. Yeah, you know, and I mean, this guy, oh, takes it square on the thigh. And topic discharge again. That's two good shots before he goes in. Everything. Caution thrown to the wind to get in on the inside. But then takes another low kick just below the knee you can see the pain it's causing and he just doesn't recover from that but uh you know i was going to say long time training partner of mirko Prokop. i mean come on you know ante delia's camp this guy comes with all the experience but as i said at the beginning you can only go to the well so many times 44 years of age yes what do you do what do you say this is the result and um, yeah worse for wear just couldn't manage to uh, deal with Stamatovic, who, in fairness, 10 years is junior. Contest teaming Josip Makovic in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner by TKO in the red corner, Milenko Kicho Stamatovic. And show your appreciation for our brave runner up, Josip Makovic.
Kićo, čestitke za ovu tvoju veliku pobjedu, ali naravno, molim još jedan aplauz i za njegovog protivnika. Ljudi moji, šta je taj čovjek preživeo, to nisu istine. Evo opet ću upotrijebiti onu otrcanu foru, otvorio si ga stvarno ko konzervu tune, ali si mu izmijenio lični opis na početku, ali čovjek nije stao. Nije stao, nije se predavao i da doktori nisu prekinuli i ostao bi do kraja unutra. Kako si ti to vidio s svoje strane? U prvu rundu sam mislio da će da odustane jer je baš teško disao, ali nastavio je dalje, u drugu sam krenuo laganije da se naviknem i onda sam mogao još pet rundi. Pogodio si ga već prvim kroševom, jel tako, ispustio na zemlju. Kako je to izgledalo iz tvoje strane i zašto nisi u drugo išao na rušenje i probao ga završiti? Pa htio sam konačno da se opustim u tome stand-upu i da krenem da bacam ruke. Nije ni ovo dovoljno, ali napredak je svakako. Jesi li zadovoljen i kad ćemo te gledati ponovno u FNC kavezu i vidiš li neke protivnike za sebe? Protivnike će bi rad moj menadžer Forgi, a planirao bi ih u jun Beograd, volio bi da se borim. To zvuči zaista sjajno. Dame i gospodo, veliki pjesak za ovog ratnika, Kičo Stamatović. Evo još kratko. Samo bih da pozdravim moju porodicu, moga trenera koji me napravio Ivan Mirović, sve trenere iz ATT-a, Borovića, Stipa, Sašu, Borgija, svi su zaslužni za ovu pobjedu. Hvala ti još jednom, još jednom veliki pljesak, Kičo Stamatović!